Right, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, make a sound beat just by using the wavetable, the squiggly old wavetable. Rather than going through the other ones which can be a bit, you know, complex at first, I found the wavetable is just a great way of making a beat very, very quickly on this because it can be a bit uh, overawing at first to say, but it isn't, it's just a great piece of machine. So let's just get straight into it. What we're going to do first of all is just choose the model on, on SH4D. Let's go just flick straight over to uh, the good old wave because the wave's just one thing to worry about. What sound have we got on the wave so far? Just a bit of a note there, I think, to be honest, nothing too exciting there. Now that note there, that note, I should say, is changed by the first uh, slider here. So, a bit of reverb on there, take that off a bit. Uh, now, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go straight into um, the tone on here. So, press Shift and Tone. And you can see, level, that's the actual volume of the whole thing. Course tune is, is plus 12, but you can change that. Let's just uh, go up here to octave, pressing that, and let's just see what happens here. Just turn it down one octave. Now that sound, I think, is quite bassy and quite exciting. So you don't have to worry about multiple wavetables there, or anything like that. You've actually got a nice bass there. So what, what we're going to do next, is we're actually going to put just some notes down there on pattern one. So just hold that down and press play, press start. I'd also increase the tempo by pressing shift and tempo. So we've now got, um, just exit there if you want, we've now got a bit of a sound coming out of there now. And what you can do is you can actually play about with the pitch on here and the timber. Now that actually moves the LFO slightly, so it's getting a bit more interesting now. Now that is a bass and a half. Should we stay with that bass and a half or not? I think that's quite nice actually, to be honest. I've turned the envelope down there to stop it clicking a bit. Should we back that bass again? That's lovely, that, isn't it? Right, so next thing I'm going to do is then go straight into uh, tone. So press shift and tone, or just tone. And uh, we can flip through a lot of the um, actual effects. The effects are very important on this. This is a wavetable synthesizer. And I found on different synthesizers, you don't have to worry about effects, but on this type of machine equipment, you need effects. So modulation, and we're just skipping through them quite nicely. Now that's quite exciting. Now I'll do this point, I'll put some more beats down to be honest. Any other waveforms you want to listen to? Distortion. But it like brings it to life. It's a bit too much, that thing. So just flick through them and decide which one you want. Exit. Change the pitch a bit. Minus one's nice there. Now you can change the envelope here and change the LFO again. What other we got? Well, let's go back into shift and into tone. Cost type, should put some, should blaze up a little bit. Thank you. 
Hey, that's not bad, is it? Right, let's just put some drum beats on now, and I'll show you another trick on the drum beats. We can actually lay some more uh, notes down if you want, or take them off. Any more different modulations we want, let's have a quick look here. Two V shifter, that's interesting. That's not bad, is it? Well, let's get some drum beats on there. Shift and rhythm. Right, so we've now got back to rhythm. Let's just put some beats down. Simple as that. Now you've got a bit of a sound, a bit of a beat going there, but there's a couple of tricks I'll show. Let's just put let's put a hi on there. So press it, press that down, locks it in. And then what we can do next is I like I like going into the sounds and then just flicking through the drum. good on there just using the waveform it's so so easy uh, once you decide on your drum you can keep it or you can just flick through them all that techno kit's not bad that's like techno kit's actually quite nice to be honest so what we can do next if you want you can actually start to change some of the filters and an amp on here and the pictures it's entirely up to you we ought to do so what we'll do we'll go back into shift and into part one where we are can you hit modulating differently? Let's just change that drum, I don't like that drum to be honest. So what should we have on here now? Should we put on? Drop some, we can actually play some drums on top of each other now. So now if we just go back into shift and part one again. Bit of a beat going. Change the filter. Increase the envelope. It's making it move now. Not the best sound. Yeah, that's not bad. Any more different drums to try? Can 
Tracer modulation type as well. And there you can go. This changes the attack on here. Just changing the pitch. Thank you and bye.